Hello and welcome back to the shop. In this video we are going to make this 20 sided part here. It was quite difficult to figure out how to hold but in the end we figured it out and we made 10 of them. Well 11, I scrapped one. Here in the first operation we have a piece of material that looks like this, just a square. It's one by one by one and we just put it in the serrated jaws and we clear everything out with an adaptive tool path just like this. I use a half inch end mill and then these sides are vertical so I can go ahead and get those quite easily just with the half inch end mill and I don't have to surface those or anything. And then I go in with a parallel tool path and just clear everything else out and just get it as smooth as I possibly can with a 5,000th step over. In reality, I probably should have used a tool path like the scallop here, but my mind is so convinced that there's only a parallel tool path for this type of stuff, because I use that for my branding irons, so my mind always goes straight to using, oh, I should use the parallel tool path. So that's what I did, but I should have used the scallop because I think it would produce a better surface finish. Figuring out a way to hold these things was definitely the hardest part. If you've never held one in your hand or looked at a 3D model of one, you can definitely get lost as you rotate the thing around and figure out which way you can hold this thing. So when I found I could orient this in a way where there's two vertical faces, actually there's four vertical faces, I just went with that and that made it easier to make the soft jaws. With these soft jaws, I flip it over and hold against the vertical faces and then I cradle it with that angled part there. Here is the soft jaw 3D model and you can kind of see the angled part here what cradles the part and then the vertical faces here that they're held against on both sides. And like I said that took some time to figure out how I can orient this to hold it pretty good so I could easy, easily and repeatably get good results. And you don't see it here in the 3D model but every single corner was drilled out so we could have some type of relief for all of these corners here. And here's what the soft jaws will look like without the model in there. And for the bottom side of the model, I made modeled stock, so basically modeled in what is left after the first operation, and that's this top hat looking thing here. So I go in the same way I did before, get rid of these modeled stock, and I clear everything out with my half inch end mill, and then I go back over it with a parallel tool path. And I don't touch these sides right here because they were already contoured from the first operation, which made it a little bit easier. But then after that, they are good to go. In the end, this was definitely a fun part to try and make, and I'm somewhat happy with the results. Like I said, I should have used a scallop toolpath, or at least I should have tried that, because I really think it would produce a much better surface finish. But I think that's it for now, so thanks for watching.